Hello, athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek Elgindi and the head judge of the Mr. Olympia, Sandy Williamson. Rising Phoenix, one of the great shows of our calendar year just happened. We have the head judge here. Let's start with women's bodybuilding, Andrea Shaw. How good is Andrea? Andrea came to play. Um, again, like if you just gave us a glimpse of what we're going to see on the Olympia stage, she's she's bringing it. Full muscle bellies, nice separation. Obviously, great poser. She's she you know is pres presentation is 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 really amazing, and also nice like separation, not over conditioned. But like I said, I know that's just a hint of what we're going to see on the Olympia stage, and she's going to be hard to beat. Talk to me about the second place, Myla Ash. Oh, I've been judging Myla Ash now for years, and this is the best look I've seen. She came in a little bit fuller. You know, again, to give Andrea a run for her money, she's going to need still a little bit more sweep to her quads, a little bit more in, you know, density in the back. But her presentation, her whole, you know, her whole look was definitely, you could tell, a step up for her. She looked really good. Now, moving on, women's physique. Antoinette Downey wins the women's physique category. What do you think of her? I was I've judged Antoinette now a couple times and she really she really made some changes. Her muscle bellies were really full again. Same thing, nice separation, not over conditioned. Her presentation was really well. Um, but yes, I'm really happy that she's gonna you know make it to that Olympia stage. I'm not sure, but it might be her first time too to the Olympia stage. Well, congratulations. We're gonna be waiting for you there. Talk to me about somebody who's been waiting 20 years to make it to the Olympia stage. That's Autumn Cleveland that wins the figure category. You know, you know what? We all talk about, you know, about genetics and having the great structure and stuff. Autumn doesn't have that. And she, like you said, 20 years in the making. And this year has been her highlight. I mean, she's already did, I think, four shows and three of them. She's been second place to, you know, other Olympia winners and stuff in the past. And when she walked out on stage, I was so happy for her because she brought it. She, uh, you know, her and her coach just, they, they've done a great job this year. And I'm, I'm happy to, you know, I'm obviously I'm happy for her to be on the Olympia stage, but I'm also curious to see how she's going to look. All she needs to do is tighten up just a tiny bit for the Olympia. And she could be a surprise on that Olympia stage this year. Very cool, very cool. Congratulations. Autumn Cleveland and, is going to the Olympia stage. Yes, and also, like I said, Ashley uh, Garcia, our second place winner, she's not competed since 2019. And she's another one that's made some great change, a little bit taller athlete, so she filled out a little bit. She, in the, you know, the next couple of years, she's going to be another, you know, another athlete to keep, keep our eye on. Um, I think she's going to be making some headway in the figure division. All right, Sandy Williamson mentioning Ashley Garcia as one to watch for the future. Moving on to fitness, Tara Plum wins the fitness. What would you think of her? Oh, I mean, obviously, Tara brought a great, you know, great overall look. She won both the physique round and, and the fitness round. Um, physique was the best. I mean, you know, that I've seen her, um, that's what she should take to the Olympia. It'll do well for her there. Conditioning, everything was well. You know, her routine, obviously, she's great with the cardiovascular, um, great with the flexibility. I think maybe to give, again, go after those top five athletes, she's going to need maybe a little bit more strength moves, I think, in her routine. But other than that, like I said, her execution was flawless. Very cool. Congratulations, Tara. Moving on to Bikini, Jordan Lee. She won in Reno. She won in Anaheim. Goes to Phoenix and wins again. She's moving up quickly, Sandy. She's made a statement. It's like, I'm here to play. Like, she's another one, though, that's been, you know, competing for, you know, I don't know, five, six years now. And, you know, it has made it to the Olympia stage before. But I think now she's like, okay, I'm making a statement. Like you said, three wins right in a row before the Olympia. She's definitely somebody to watch. You know, part of it was that she always had to fill out a little bit. And her and her coach, they've managed to do that really well. So it's going to be good to see her on stage with those top Olympia athletes and see, you know, and see, you know, see if she could, you know, can give them a run for their money. Now, another one that's making a statement, I judged a show here in Southern California and she won. And then she goes to Phoenix and wins with you. Renee Harshi is the wellness queen of the Rising Phoenix. Well, and this is one of the reasons that I like all the divisions that we have for women in the NPC because Renee came up through the bikini round. You know, she struggled to get her pro card in bikini 
because of being a little bit imbalanced, you know, at lower body dominant. And so wellness was perfect for Renee. And it's been really great to see her over the last three years slowly make her way up that, you know, up the wellness chain. And she just has such a classy look. I mean, she just draws judges' eyes to her when she walks out. Her posing, her presentation is flawless. So, again, I'm really glad that she's going to make it back to the Olympia stage this year. Congratulations. Now, Sandy, talk to me about this event. It's an all-women's event. It's a classic event on our calendar. Talk to me about the overall experience. The promoter, Alex Acasa, Wings of Strength. How was it? Oh, they did this. I mean, they do a good job at every show they do, but each year has been getting better. And this year was definitely the best. Uh, there, nothing, everything at the show was done. The production was flawless. Um, the athletes, everybody just walked away with a great, it was a good feel good you know, show. Everybody had a good time. The after party, again, it makes us, you know, it makes us all feel like we're part of a community. And that's what the whole sport is, you know, is about. Um, and they, the NPC, uh, numbers doubled since last year. Um, I will guarantee you in 2023, you're going to see that number go up again. So, no, I, I seriously, I have to give a big shout out to Alex and the whole Wings of Strength team, Tim Gardner Productions. They did an amazing, amazing job this year. Congratulations to all of them. We are going to see all these great competitors at the Mr. Olympia. For the pay-per-view, I want you to go to www.olympiaproductions.com to watch all the action. My name is Tarek Elgindi, and with the Mr. Olympia head judge, Sandy Williamson, we're going to be at the Mr. Olympia. Olympia.